Hello everyone, this is your host Zainul Hassan and in today's video we will create a bubble tab bar. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here is a preview of what we are going to create. So uh, you can use this as a bottom navigation in your apps. So let's start by downloading the extension by going to the download page. You can find this repository in the description and just open it up and here inside the download section you can just click on this link and then you can just click on download and it will start downloading so once we have downloaded you can just go ahead and create a new project or if you have a project already you can just import that extension into your project so let's create a new project Let's do some basic modification here by changing the screen orientation. I will change the navigation bar color to white. And you can change the title if you want. Let's say bubble tab bar. And hide the options menu. So okay, we have some basic setup right here. Let's now import the extension. So go to the desktop and click on the extension to import it. So here we have some basic setup that we can do for each of the item that we add into the bubble tab bar. So we have a corner radius, horizontal padding, icon color, icon padding and so on. So you can also use a custom typeface if you want. So you can change these properties from the block section as well so you have all these properties right here so um, we also need to import the icons that we are going to use in our tab bar so you can use any of the icons from material icons or from flaticon or whatever source you want to use so let's see so you can find this icons uh, link in the description so you can just click here and download um, PNG file so for this we need to use a PNG or a JPEG file but uh, better use a PNG so uh, we can preserve the transparency so I already have downloaded some icons so let's open up the folder and right here I have three icons folder grid and settings so let's import them by one by one. You can find these icons in the description as well. So let's see how you can um, create the basic tab bar. So for that we will import a vertical arrangement or a horizontal arrangement. So this arrangement is going to hold the tab bar. So let's make it a fill parent and height we will set it to automatic. And here just change the alignment to center set the background color to white or whatever color that you want so next let's change the alignment of the screen and we will align everything to bottom so here we have the bottom and let's align the horizontal to center so uh, this will be the parent layout where we can store our bottom tab bar so let's see So it's always better to rename your components in this way you can easily uh, make your project consistent. So I have changed the name to bottom nav container. So let's go to the block section and when the screen one initializes we need to create um, the tab bar. So first we need to initialize it inside a layout. So we'll initialize it inside the bottom nav container and then we need to add some icons, um, add some tab bar items so let's add that so first we need to set up an id so this id can be any number so let's set it to one and then we have the title so for this i will set it to be um, let's see from the icons so we have folder grid and settings um okay so home we can say it home and then we need to name the icon so for this the icon is going to be um, grid.png 
and we need to uh, tell whether it is enabled or not so you if you want your uh, um, item to be disabled then you can set this enable to false so checked means uh, whether the item is checked by default so uh, since it is the home icon home item we will uh, enable it by default and we will make it checked so for the color let's add a color so go to the color section and here you can choose any color that you want let's now repeat the process for the rest of the two icons so this one is going to be documents so for the rest of the two we will check uh, we will set the check to false so these will not be uh, checked by default so let's change the id one two three we also change the color you can keep the same color in all three items but let's change it so i will choose dark purple and here i will choose dark green so change the rest of the properties okay so um, we have this basic uh, setup done let's explore other blocks we have the on selected callback so this event uh, is raised whenever the menu item is selected so on selected we have this select so if you want to select uh, an item programmatically or from your block section you can use this block and you can provide in the id that you want so you can provide in one two three or whatever so you can use this block to select an item dynamically next we have the properties so you can change the properties from here or you can just change the properties uh, from this section so let's now keep them uh, the default and we will change them when we have connected the companion so let's delete this block let me drag an a label so we can check which item is selected and I will also add some spacing so let's add some space from the top and bottom so the label is centered and we can just increase the font size if you want remove the text change the alignment and we will just change the text to the ID of the selected item let's now connect to the companion so we have done uh, a little bit wrong here so um, I forgot that first we need to add all the items that we want and then we need to initialize the layout so this is how you will proceed so first you will add all the items that are required and then you need to initialize the layout so if we uh, change the order of the blocks then we can see that um, it works fine next we have some issue with the settings icon so um, I just spelled it wrong so it is setting.png and if we refresh everything's back to normal so let's now uh, check some of the properties so uh, first I will make the colors a little bit darker so you can see easily so let me select a way darker color also change this purple and this green so okay um, let me refresh okay so great um, let's now check the properties so you can change the corner radius so currently it is fully rounded what you can do is you can um, change the corner radius to say 5 and now you get these uh, squarish type of items so everything is customizable you can change the horizontal padding let's change the color so we'll make it dark gray so the color is going to be dark gray by default and uh, we can also change the padding between the icon and the text so let's make it 8 and also the title size so let's make it 16 now it's looking way better so you can change the properties um, to match the design of your uh, app so we can also change the typeface so um, for that you need to import a TTF file and we can also change the vertical padding so let's make it 12 and see what happens so it changes the vertical padding let's now uh, see how you can use a custom font so let us import a font 
so you can use any font let's see um okay so for this we will use comforta and we will import the comforta bold font let's open it up and change the typeface so let's now refresh since uh, there are new files so okay so you can see that it has changed change the font it is now using comforta so uh, we can now decrease the title size to make it look better so we have everything set up so this is how you add cool bottom navigation bar in your app so that is it for this video if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video till then thanks for watching